All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his glorious book, O believers, fasting is prescribed for you, as it was for those before you, so perhaps you will become mindful of Allah. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that our master Prophet Muhammad is a slave and messenger, who says, He who observes fasting during the month of Ramadan out of faith and in the hope of the reward from Allah will have his past sins forgiven. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon Prophet Muhammad, his household, companions, and upon those who follow him till the day of judgment. The Almighty Allah has blessed the month of Ramadan exclusively with unique features. One of these features is that Ramadan is the month in which Allah revealed the Holy Scriptures. Allah says, Ramadan is the month in which the Quran was revealed as a guide for humanity with clear proofs of guidance and the standard to distinguish between right and wrong. The Prophet peace be upon him said, The scriptures of Ibrahim peace be upon him were revealed on the first night of Ramadan. The Torah was revealed on the sixth of Ramadan. The gospel was revealed on the thirteenth of Ramadan. The Psalms were revealed on the 18th of Ramadan, and the Quran was revealed on the 24th of Ramadan. Ramadan is also the month of making supplications, which is one of the most sublime, sublime rituals through which a human gets closer to Allah. When pondering over the Quran, we find that the verse on making supplications comes in the middle of the verses of fasting. Allah says, O oh Prophet, if my servants ask you about me, I am near. I respond to those who call me. So let them respond to me and believe in me so that they may be guided. This indicates that the supplication from a fasting person is more expected to be answered by Allah. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, The supplication of a fasting person shall not be rejected. And he also said, there are those uh, three whose supplication is not rejected. The fasting person, when he breaks his fast, the just ruler, and the supplication of the oppressed person. Allah raises it up above the clouds and opens the gate of heaven to it. And the Lord says, by my might, I shall surely aid you, even if it should be after a while. The most outstanding feature of Ramadan is that it's the month of salvation from the hellfire. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, When the first night of Ramadan co comes, Satan's and mischievous jinns are chained up, and the gates of fire are closed, and none of which is open. The gates of paradise are open, and none of which is closed. And a caller cries out, O oh, seeker of good, proceed, O oh, seeker of evil, stop. Allah has people whom he frees from the fire. The Prophet, peace be upon him, also said, At every breaking of the fast, Allah has people whom he frees from the fire, and that happens every night. Fasting is an act of goodness that protects a person from torture in the hellfire. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Fasting is like a shield from the hellfire. He also said, No servant of Allah fasts on the day, on a day for the sake of Allah, except that Allah pushes the hellfire 70 years further away from his face. Mu'adh ibn Jabal narrated, I accompanied the Prophet, peace be upon him, on a journey on one day I was near him while he were while we were moving, so I said, O Messenger of Allah, inform me about an action by which I will be admitted into paradise and which will keep me far from the fire. He said, You have asked me about something great, but it is easy for whomever Allah make, makes easy for. Worship Allah and do not associate any partners with Him. Establish the prayer, give zakah, fast during Ramadan, and perform hajj to the holy mosque. Then I said, Shall I not guide you to the doors of good? Fasting is a shield, and charity extinguishes sin like water extinguishes fire. 
Fasting is also a means of intercession accepted by Allah Almighty on the Day of Judgment. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Fasting and Quran will intercede for a servant on the Day of Judgment. Fasting will say, O oh Allah, I had denied him eating and enjoyment during the, day, the, the daytime, so accept my intercession for him. The Quran will say, I had prevented him from sleeping at night, so accept intercession from him. The Prophet said, their intercession will be accepted. Fasting is also a cause of forgive, forgiveness and a way to paradise, as Allah says, Surely for Muslim men and women, believing men and women, devout men and women, truthful men and women, patient men and women, humble men and women, charitable men and women, fasting men and women, men and women who guard their chastity, and men and women who remember Allah often, for all of them Allah has prepared, prepared forgiveness and a great reward. The Prophet, peace be upon him, also said, He who observes fasting during the month of Ramadan out of faith and in the hope of reward from Allah will have his past sins forgiven. And said, Whoever spends the night of Ramadan in prayer out of faith and in the hope of reward will have his past sins forgiven. Even there is one night which is if a person was a blessed spent in praying, reciting the Quran and invoking Allah, he will have his past sins forgiven. It is Laylat al-Qadr. The Prophet said, whoever spends the night of Laylat al-Qadr in prayer out of faith and in the hope of reward will have his past sins forgiven. The stress to stress that fasting is a way to paradise, the Prophet peace be upon him said, in the paradise there is a room whose inner structure can be seen from outside and its outside structure can be seen from inside. This room is prepared for the one who feeds the needy, speaks gently, keeps fasting, or prays at night while people should be sleeping. Abu Huraira reported that one day Allah's messenger, peace be upon him, said, who amongst you is fasting today Abu Bakr said I am the Prophet said who amongst you followed a, fun a funeral procession today Abu Bakr said I did the Prophet again said who amongst you served food to the needy <clears throat> Abu Bakr said I did he again said who amongst you has today visited the sick Abu Bakr said I did thereupon Allah's messenger peace be upon him said anyone in whom these good deeds are combined will certainly enter paradise when abu umama al-bahili may allah be pleased with him came to the messenger of allah he asked him tell me something that i may learn from you the prophet replied take to fasting for there is nothing like it <clears throat> Fasting is a secret between a man and his Lord. That is to say, the no one knows about its reality but Allah who says, Have you not considered that Allah knows what is in heavens and what is on earth? There is no private conversation between three but that he is the fourth of them and nor are three five but the, that he is the sixth of them and no less than that and no more than that except that he is with them in knowledge wherever they are then he will inform you of what you did on the day of resurrection indeed allah is knowing of all things fasting gained a prominent status in islam by being attributed to allah most high to the extent that he declared that he himself is the one who will give reward for fasting. Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him reported that Allah said every act of the son of Adam is for him except fasting it is done for my sake and I will give a reward for it. In another narration it's reported every deed of the son of Adam will be multiplied for him between 10 and 700 times for each merit. Allah said except for fasting 
for it is for me and I shall reward for it. For this reason, scholars believe the saying of Allah, fasting is for my sake, is enough to show its superiority over all other acts of worship. With that said, I ask Allah for forgiveness for me and for you. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon our, the last and seal of all prophets and messengers. Our master, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and his family and companions. Muslim brothers, fasting that saves from the fire is that which keeps us away from every bad behavior and that enables us to attain to piety, which is the ultimate objective of fasting. That's to say that we should not consume unlawful provision, backbite people, spread falsehood among people, or testify to falsehood. In addition, we should not say about what makes Allah satisfied with us. We also should not meet a bad deed with a bad deed. Rather, to repel the bad by what's best, since there are the manners, these are the manners of the fasting people. Allah Most High says, and when they hear ill speech, they turn away from it. And repel by means of what's best their evil and we are most knowing of what they describe prophet muhammad peace be upon him said fasting is a shield when any one of you is fasting on a day he should neither indulge in obscene language nor raise his voice or if anyone reviles him or tries to quarrel with him he should say i am a fasting person he, peace be upon him, also said, Fasting is not to abstain from food and drink, but also from ill speech. Indeed, one of the reasons that save people from fire is defending the honor of their Muslim brothers while they are absent. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, If a Muslim defends his brother and the honor of his brother in his absence, Allah will protect his face from fire on uh, the day of resurrection a truly fasting person is the one whose fasting is reflected in his behaving and treatment of people that's because fasting makes a person capable of curbing the reins of himself in a way that makes him achieve happiness in this world and the world to come indeed the soul is a persistent enjoiner of evil except those upon which Lord has mercy and if a man does not control it, it will lead him to destruction. A fasting person perfects his work, does it for the sake of Allah, and is busy with its acceptance. A point which is clear in what Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him, said while doing a very honorable act, that is, he was building the Kaaba. Allah Most High says, and mention when Abraham was raising the foundation of the house and with his Ishmael saying, Our Lord accept this from us, indeed you are the hearing, the knowing. Also our master Ali, may Allah be pleased with him, said, Pay great, greater attention to the acceptance of your deeds than observing them. Haven't you heard the saying of Allah, indeed Allah accepts from the righteous? O oh Allah, make us from those who are saved from the fire and those whose deeds are accepted.